Lighting is an important part of every retail location. Using directional fixtures on track lighting allows the light to be adjusted to the design of each store. Knowing how to adjust these fixtures to highlight the merchandise is a great way to improve the look of your store and potentially increase your sales. The lights you will be focusing have directional bulbs that create a beam. Because the fixture is adjustable at several points, the beam can be focused in almost any direction. Fixtures known as wall washers can also be focused to illuminate the walls of the stores. These should be focused at a 45 degree angle toward the wall. To focus your track lighting, you will most likely need a ladder or step stool to reach the track. Gloves may be necessary if the fixtures are hot to the touch. Be sure to focus the beam only on the available merchandise. With the exception of front window displays, do not focus the lights on mannequins, graphics, or other displays. When lighting the merchandise on the grid wall, the fixtures should be four to five feet from the wall or on the track running parallel to it. The angle of the beam is more important than symmetry, so fixtures may need to be physically moved on the track to achieve a better angle. Placing them on the track is also a simple process. Pull down on the tab and turn the fixture in the direction of least resistance, 90 degrees until the tab snaps into place. The beam should extend from the top of the second grid to the floor. The angle of the beam should not exceed 30 degrees. Focusing the light at an angle greater than 30 degrees risks dazzling the customer, creating a distracting effect. Do not cross focus in narrow areas for this reason. The same principle should be applied when focusing on A-tracks. If the rack has a clear acrylic top, the light can be focused through it. Solid tops require a sharper angle. Even so, do not exceed the 30 degree rule. The main focus is to highlight the merchandise, but you want your store to be evenly lit. Use additional fixtures to fill in dark spots. The trick is to have the beam from one light slightly overlap the beams from neighboring fixtures. When focusing lights in the windows, point the beam directly at the mannequins or featured display. Ideally, the track should be far enough in front of the display to turn the fixture away from the glass at a slight angle. Optimizing your store's lighting design should be a simple process. Consider it a creative endeavor. Essentially, you are painting your store with light to make it look as good as possible. If done properly, the results will be apparent both in the look of your store and potentially your sales as well.